All right, so uh, we're going to do a couple simple things uh, uh, in this video. Um, we're going to add a model and uh, uh, name the model, do some things with uh, uh, just, just creating models and getting rid of models. So we power on. So you're always going to, this is the main screen. You can see that right now we've got, uh, this is the, an acro model. Um, usually, at least what I've been told for our purposes, uh, we're trying to create a driving robot, um, battle bots, bots IQ, and this is the, the model that we want. Um, but there are some other, uh, planes, uh, helicopters, things like that, uh, that you can use instead of this one. But this one's called Acro. Um, let's just look and see here. All right. So, um, what if we wanted to make a new model? By the way, this one right now, I just called D. So I named this one just as just sort of a test model. So um, we want to make a model. Uh, we got to uh, click on this button. So let's go back to where we were. Here we are. And I'm going to click this button. And let's see if you can see. Uh, but we're going to scroll down. Oh, it's way down at the bottom. It's called System Setup. Yeah, you can kind of see that. So click on that. And we're going to go into here. Say yes. And uh, let's look at the choices on this. The resolution is not great. Anyway, there is model select. Uh, this is uh, where we need to go to create a new model. Model type. This is the four different things you can choose from. We are generally picking this one here. This is an acro, and there's the helicopter, there's like a four thing drone, and then this is basically, like they call it a sailplane, but it's like a glider. So um, we don't need to do that. Let's go up to that, and uh, there's model name. Model name. Uh, we need, we'll use those three things. Uh, we've already well dealt with channel assigned down there. Uh, but we will use model utilities as well. Uh, so let's just uh, go to model select and click. And uh, we've got a few different um, models on here. Right now, on this on D, uh, but I have well, five or six different models. And um, so here's what happens. If you don't select any of these, it's going to keep restarting with whatever uh, model you were using last. Uh, so I've got two acros and a tank and another tank. And But let's just, uh, let's just add a new model. Um, by the way, if you recall, we were on that acro plane. Since I didn't get off the acro plane when I add this new model, it's going to be an acro plane uh, setup for this model. Um, and whatever that means, which is probably a hundred things that I don't really know. But um, it's, it's an acro model, which we know that we can use to set up a bots IQ robot. So I'm going to say add new model. Remember this, even though it doesn't say that there, this is an acro setup. Create. Uh, so it's in there. Now, if I was to go to model select, um, now at the bottom, you see there's acro that, that had been added. So let's go back and let's go to model name. And we're on that, you know, the model that we just selected, uh, which is this acro. So let's go down 
and you see that little sort of triangle arrow thing. Um, here's the easiest way to name it, to rename it something uh, else. So let's, I'm going to click my button over here. You can see that that got selected. When that is selected, go over to the clear button right here, which we don't use too often, but now we are. Clear gets rid of the seven. Hit clear one more time. Gets rid of the whole thing. So you just erase the entire name by hitting clear twice there. Now, uh, what about putting in some letters? We scroll the wheel here. And um, let's call this, uh, I hit B. And uh, I, I clicked, so now that's entered. I move, uh, I scroll over one. Click, scroll, and uh, select O. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, but scroll over one more time. Click to start scrolling. And click, Bob. Okay, so now our robot, our model is called uh, Bob. I scrolled back to back, by the way, so notice where it's going along. And now back is lit up, so hit back, and now I'm back in here. Let's go to model select. Model select. Now down at the bottom here, instead of acro, that's Bob. Fine. Uh, so that's what's selected right now. Scroll back to the top, back. Um, so we had model type. We typically want acro in there. Uh, we have model name. That's where you can name it. You can change any of the names. Uh, but we can only change the name of the model that we have selected. If we wanted to change names on those other ones, we could go back to uh, model select and uh, Select it and then change the name of it. Um, last thing on this system setup. Again, remembering that we used channel assign before to change which ports uh, on our receiver these toggles actually correspond to. Uh, if you saw the previous video, initially up and down was corresponding to port 1 on our receiver, but using channel assign, we move this to port 2. This was originally using port 3 on our receiver. We used channel assign uh, to change it to port number 4, and then of course we had to change the plugs uh, correspondingly. Anyway, um, so uh, we're finishing up here. Last thing, below channel assign. Uh, Model utilities and let's see again. Um, create new model, delete model, copy model, and the, the, you know you can read this on your own. But this is uh, what I had used model utilities for is just to delete a model when you get too many. So uh, let's say I don't really want Bob. I don't really need to use Bob. This new model that I just created, I'm going to delete it. And uh, let's see what happens here. Delete model. That's my next one. Uh, let's look quick from this. I can pick one of the other, one of the other ones. I'm going to delete this number two acro. Now, uh, model utility, I'm going to list, go back to this now and set system setup. Let's go back up to model select. Notice Bob is gone, and that one acro is gone. All right, well, that's it uh, for this video. Um, it included how to add models, how to name models, how to delete models.